Okay, so here comes the one of the most customizable things which I've already shared with you just some days ago that you have a lot of customizations and as I previously mentioned, it is not a custom ROM. It's MIUI 12 running Android version 10 stock, yani Indian MIUI 12 ROM. I'm using it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro here and yes, the features which we have right now I've already shared with you. For example, the volume panel and that brightness slider related things and at last this screen recorder where we have have unlocked the 90 fps but including that we have other interesting options which i have already shared with you but how you can get all these options on your device is actually quite easy it's a very simple guide but little bit complicated for a normal user or a beginner so if you are advanced user then you're happy that this is custom me wiser a lot of users already know about this custom me wiser maybe some of you don't know about that so if you are one of those users who don't know about custom me wiser it's a customizable thing for your xiaomi device running miui miui 11 it's just working miui 12 it's just working not sure about miui 12.5 not sure about android version 11 i tested it on miui 12 running android version 10 so i'm sure it will work on this device let's take a look at some features which you get here for example we have these options we can customize system in system we have screen related customizations where we have the auto brightness related customization charge animation a lot more things in audio we have the high volume warning disable separate volume controls and notification volume slider which we have just enabled and i have already shown you which is the thing this is like thing which i was talking about we have by default three options now we have four options because we have just enabled it in the settings dnd mode toggle as you can see this is it by default we had the silent option there silent toggle but now we have the dnd toggle and like that we have many other customizations available for you which is one of the interesting things which you can use we have the vibration vibration related customization, toast related customization, status bar related customizations where we have the LTE icon for 4G show seconds as you can see in status bar and clock we have the settings working there and by default you get all these features sometimes in a custom room but yes if we don't want to use a custom room but you have rooted your device you have magic installed in your stock miui 12 or miui device you can use these options and this is actually quite good how you can use these features and how you can get these features we include notifications quick settings recent app app log related customizations a lot more i cannot show you all these features because these are a lot we have launcher customizations we have the controls and various customizations present for you how you can get all these customizations on your device okay let's start from scratch first of all i just have disabled all the modes which i have applied so far on my device as you can see in my volume panel i again have three options status bar is now same the brightness slider has no customizations which mean i have just uninstalled that custom miuizer module okay so how you can enable that what is the main requirement behind this first of all make sure your device is rooted and right now if your device is rooted it means you have magisk installed after installation of magisk you need to install two modules which are necessary for you first one is first one is riru which is absolutely necessary you need to install this and the installation is actually quite easy simply search it in the magisk and you will find it and after the installation you will see this kind of options after the installation you need to reboot but before reboot you can install all the modules one by one first one was riru which we have just installed second one is riru add expose ls pose was also good but now right now we need add expose which is just working fine till android version 11 but the module is customizer which is working fine in miui 12 android version 10 so not sure about android version 11 honestly but in android 10 it's just working fine you can try it out in your MIUI 12 Android 11 also, MIUI 12.5 also, it's just up to you. We've installed all these things and at last we need to use Add Expose. How you can use this? You simply need to reboot your device once to make it work properly because before reboot, you will see this kind of warning, Add, frame, add Expose Framework is not properly installed. Okay, so after installing, as I previously mentioned you, if you don't reboot, you will see these options. But after the reboot, let me show you that which option you will see. If I go and open the Add Expose Manager on my device right now, I will see Add Expose Framework is active. Now, Add Expose Framework is active now, which means I'll be able to use the models if I want to. How I can use all these models on my device? The model which I was talking about is custom user. You will not find it in this app. You need to use Google Play Store. 
And yes, the module is available for free in the Google Play Store. What is the name of the module? The name is Custom Mew Visor, as you already know. And the thing is, it's available for free on the Google Play Store with only 1 MB. Yes, it's only 1 MB. The developer is Mikonishi and yes, it's actually very helpful kind of module for a lot of users. We have just installed it on our device, which includes a lot of features. I already shown you, you can also take the backup of your customizations which you already made on your device. If you want to restore, you can restore them. There are a lot of possibilities available for you. These are the things you get in this custom visor. It is just taking a little bit of time in my case. So, okay, we just downloaded and installed it. Whenever you open your custom user after installation for the first time, you will see this warning custom user module is not active. So you need to active it first from the settings of expose. And of course, if you active, you need to reboot your device also. Uh, you can activate that. You will see in the notification like this, click this and you will go to module section, activate, reboot. You are good to go. Everything else I've already shown you. This is all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air